The topic of my lecture, called Genar Particle Accelerators, is quite logical. The Joint Institute for Nuclear Research was founded in 1956, when the first committee meeting of the representatives of the participating countries took place and an agreement to create this institute was signed. The Soviet government handed over two accelerators to the institute to carry out research. They are the Phasotron of the Laboratory of Nuclear Problems, located in Dumna, and the Synchrophasotron, the construction of which was in its final stages at that time. As part of the agreement, a decision was made to create specialized heavy-ion cyclotrons for the future Flerov Laboratory of Nuclear Reactions. Since then, the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research has been one of the world's largest laboratories for particle acceleration. What is a particle accelerator? It is a device specifically designed for obtaining well-directed beams of charged particles with an energy level higher than their thermal motion. The energy is provided by the interaction of particles with an electric field. And as an electric field is the main source for increasing energy, the most general classification of accelerators is based on the exact principal methods implemented to create the electric field. For particle acceleration, a static or quasi-static field may be used. Accelerators that operate based on such fields are called direct action accelerators. The magnetic fields can be adjusted over time, during which an induction vortical electric field is generated. The accelerators using an electric field for particle acceleration are called induction accelerators or betatrons. For particle acceleration, an electric component of an electromagnetic wave field may be used. The accelerators using such an electric field are called radio frequency resonant accelerators or RF accelerators. Besides this classification, there is an additional type of accelerator, the operation principle of which is based on the use of electric fields emerging in electron beams or in plasma. They are the so-called collective accelerators, which have actively been under development in recent times. An electric field is used to increase particle energy, while a magnetic field may be used to form the shape of the charged particle trajectory. And accordingly, the second major segment of an accelerator comes from its trajectory form. A clear distinction can be made between two large types of accelerators. The first one is the linear accelerator, in which a charged particle crosses the acceleration section only once. The trajectory form of the accelerated beam particles is close to a straight line. The second type of accelerator is the cyclic accelerator, where a particle crosses the same accelerating section multiple times and goes back to its point of entry as a result of rotation induced by a magnetic field. The trajectory may have quite a varied shape from a ring, an unfolding spiral, a number of rings, intersecting at one point, a racetrack, a triangle, to anything really. Accordingly, if we compile both principles in a table, we get the two classification principles, by the electric field type and by the form of the trajectory. There are more linear accelerators of various types. Linear accelerators, which use a static field, are direct action accelerators. Linear accelerators, which use an induction field, belongs to the linear betatrons. A linear accelerator working on an electric field of an electromagnetic wave is called a linac, which is a blend word that comes from linear accelerator. Various collective accelerators have not yet been given a common name. Cyclic accelerators cannot use a static field for particle acceleration because of the static field potential and the fact that one can repeatedly let particles through the same segment with a static field. 
The increase in energy would depend only on the potential difference between the initial and the final trajectory point. That is why there are no static cyclic accelerators. And therefore, to date, there have not been any suggestions to use collective fields for particle acceleration in cyclic accelerator. Respectively, there are only two types of cyclic accelerators, an induction cyclic accelerator, also referred to as a betatron, and an RF resonant accelerator. Although it seems like the number of accelerators of the cyclic type is small, there is an enormous amount of accelerator types hidden in the table of RF resonant accelerators, which will be discussed further on.